I'm going to look at side plank. It's a really good exercise, and research has shown that effectiveness on the external obliques, a side plank is more effective than an oblique twist. There's so many different ways of doing it, so we're going to look at a few of them now. It's not great if somebody has an elbow or a shoulder injury. Join me if you can. You're going to come down onto the elbow, shoulder way away from the ear. Think of keeping this gap here. Knees are bent, heels in line with your bum. You're drawing the armpit away, so we're engaging the lats. Pull the waist away from the floor. Sink down. So as you're lifting the waist and sinking back down. The arm's a bit of a spare part at this point, so I'm going to lift and take it back down. It's a nice, easy way to just introduce it, getting into quadratus lumborum, obliques, and those lats. Changing the foot position, so the top foot comes in front of the bottom foot. This gives me a little bit of base through this foot. Arms here or here. Take the waist away, lifting the arm, first level. Taking it back down, I'm going to push through the top foot, the bottom knee. Pulling the shoulder away from the floor, hand comes up, take it back down. Each time I'm going to take it into a different progression. So each time I'm just loading it, making it a little harder as we go along. Changing the position of the legs, taking the legs out in a straight position. Think of them sort of being a bit like scissors, so they're open at the moment. Squeezing the legs together, closing through the scissors. Arm comes up, bring it back down. Repeating that again, squeeze, and I'm just taking it a little further this time, trying desperately hard not to shake, and coming back. Let's progress that a little further, taking it up and over, coming back, and rotating. Coming back up, and drop down. So I've done that set on the elbow. If you look at the hand position, keeping the legs in that scissor position, think of the weight being even through the hand. Elbow slightly soft, pushing up. So it's just changing the emphasis here. Obviously, if you've got a wrist injury, not a possibility. Taking it back down. Progress that again, up and over. Extend out. Come back in, rotate through, coming back up and drop down. That's just a few variations of, of basically that movement that we did right at the beginning, just lifting up and away. 